how are you guys doing this is kizzy evil here we are back with another electric scooter video and uh we're checking out this length feet now there's two different ones the difference between the two scooters is one is a 72 volt the other one is a 84 volt so this is a 72 volt but they're pretty much the same size there's some key difference uh also on the scooters that i'm gonna be explaining to you guys for example the 84 volt uh rx does have do disc brakes so there's brakes on both sides i think you guys have seen that on like the hunter quad um and it's pretty powerful so i wanted to start with the this is the base and uh, this is 72 volts 13 inch tires i know a lot of you have been asking for 13 inch tire scooter this scooter is built well and um, it is built to ride pretty much this is a big boy scooter that's what i call it this is made for those guys that are like on the bigger size it looks simple you can actually tell that a lot of thought went into making this in here this is a uh, 72 volts so the battery amp might be maybe 45 i know the 84 volt one has a 50 amp hour battery and uh, so that one the battery is a little bit bigger and it will be difficult for you to drain that out but this is a 72 volts it's still gonna get you to like long distance for sure uh so i'm gonna bring you guys closer to like show you guys everything on this all right so we have the gt2 as the name 13 inch tires the same as the gt2 rox you have the steering damper this is well made Want you, I don't know if you guys can see the thickness of this. This is very, very thick. Even the steering damper looks thick. And it's by Langfit. So this is their own steering damper. It looks really nice. It looks well made. You have the mud guard here. It's carbon fiber. Carbon fiber mud guard. The brake, this is the one that only has one brake. So it's not like the other one. They have two these brakes. So I will show you guys that as well. So everything else is pretty much the same, but the GT RX, the GT2 RX has dual brakes. So well, over here, you can see there's dual brakes. It's the same thing as the back of it. And the steering damper is still the same. The charging ports are in the same place on this side. And you have the brakes here and also in the back over here and also carbon fiber carbon fiber mod guard with this light that looks like the terminator back here so everything else is pretty much the same you see it there carbon fiber the shocks the same these are adjustable shocks that are under here, adjustable shocks. And we go to the display, how this thing comes on. I don't think it has a fingerprint readout. So, let's try it again. Oh, okay, there we go. So now it's unlocked. I don't know if you guys can see the screen. That's what it looks like. It has the P settings, of course you can go in there. And it has single and do motor mode. And of course you have the horn. Sounds pretty much the same like the Nighthawk, the H1. And of course you have your lights. There's I think one of the lights that turns on the light that's in the front. And then the light that turns on all the lights. And of course you have your turn signal. We're gonna go check that out see how bright that turn signal light is all right this is it back here there's a turn signal light that's what it does it just flashes like that stop it again let's do the other side so this actually have in the front as well but the thing with this turn signal light is that they are so low to the ground, most people don't see it because it's too low. 
Uh, manufacturers have to figure out a way to bring them up a little bit so people can see it. And of course, you have the lights in the front. This is on. And the folding mechanism. Now, this does fold. I haven't shown you guys how it folds, but I'll show you guys that now. So let's see here. I'm just gonna set my camera down so I can fold it and show you guys how it folds. Let's see. Just gonna angle this right there. So you have this here. So I think it's a two-step folding mechanism. So you unlock this. And I think you pull this. Alright, so you gotta come out a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. I'm not sure if this have to come all the way out. Does it? Yeah. I think this have to come all the way out. <sighs> now, most people that have this probably are not going to fold it. It doesn't have to come all the way out. But this is how it folds. Let me turn off the light because that light is like super bright. Let's turn this off. All right, the light is off now. Let's fold it down. The horn is like touching, so. <laughs> but this is how it folds down. That's pretty much it um this might be able to fit in some cars but not all cars uh the brakes that it comes with is made by Langfi, so it's really quality brakes really quality brakes and we're gonna be able to like test this thing out today so i can show you guys what it can actually do a lot of you guys have been asking which scooter should i get you have the e-move roadster roadrunner rx7 that just came out and uh, some of you are also looking to get a wee pad. Now, I can tell you right now, but this scooter is like in between all of those scooters. I think this scooter might actually be the scooter that once you get it, you're not gonna buy another scooter for a very, very long time. So I don't wanna do too much talking and all that stuff. And uh, these 13 inch tires are huge. Tech space on this thing is like pretty wide. This is a sine wave uh, controller. So you're gonna be able to gradually accelerate. It has like ludicrous mode. There's single mode, single do motor mode. I'll bring out the 84 volt and show it to you guys. And uh, we have like at least a couple of scooters that I wanna share with you guys if you wanna get it. So we're starting off from mode one. You guys can see. Now we're going to move two. I think we're on single mode. We were on single mode. You feel that? <laughs> oh boy. Jeez. That's mad. <laughs> Do you feel that power? We're only on mode two. We are not on mode three. I need to cover my pen. I'm trying not to push it too much because the battery, I'm not sure if it's going to be able to take much more of this. Oh, 
it was a race. <laughs> it's not a race, man. We're trying to race scooters. Man, this thing is crazy. Shout out to Road Scooters. This is a beast. And the brakes on this are pretty good. So I want to give you guys a little bit of specs between both of the scooters. So the one that's 72 volts is the GT2 and this is the GT RX and uh, over here is they are called Valkyrie. Okay, at the Rogue scooter. I just wanted to show you guys the difference between the two. As you can see them, they are pretty much the same size. One of the reasons that you might want to get this one might be because it's a little bit lighter than this because I think the battery on this is... 50 amp hour battery. Let's see here, we have the spec sheet. So the GT2 RX has a 50 amp hour battery. So it's gonna be a little bit heavier. This has a 40 amp hour battery. So it's pretty much the same size as the Dutron, the Dutron Thunder 2 and the Dutron Thunder 3 that I have. I'm gonna try right now to pick this thing up, uh, my back. Well, let's see, let's see. So just bear with me let's see let's see if we can get it up lift with your leg lift with your legs this is heavy man Whew. that's a heavy boy i am not even gonna try to pick up this one <laughs> i think the reason why they made this to be very heavy is to make it stable on the road if you guys remember the segway gt2 was extremely heavy and that scooter was very very stable and i think that's one of the reasons why this is like heavy i think it's about at least 150 to 160 pounds let's talk about range so for the range for the 72 volts we have 72 miles of range and for the 84 volts we have 87 miles of range so not that much difference uh, price difference is about a thousand dollars off so i believe this is five thousand and then this is 6,000. So just a thousand dollars off. As I'm talking about this, some of you might not know how big this scooter is. So the next thing we're about to do right now is a size comparison. So I'm gonna compare something that's like the size of a Wolf King GT or GTR, and you will see the size difference. So we're gonna move this one out. So <laughs> I want you guys to see the size difference of these things. Like, look at it. This is your Wolf King GT, and then this is this scooter. You can see the size of this thing is monstrous. The Rook scooter is in Los Angeles. One of the things about scooters is that when it comes to shipping, scooters that are this heavy, most of the time, the delivery people, they are gonna damage it. So if you are in Los Angeles and you buy this scooter or you call Rook scooter to come and pick it up, it'll be much better instead of them shipping it to you. Uh, you could drive every an hour or two to come pick up your scooter. That's much better than them shipping it because they will ship it in the best condition possible. But the delivery people might damage it. So, and right now it might not be up on the website, but I'll put the number so you can call them and uh, it will pre-order it. And it will take about two to three months for you to get it. Um, you're gonna get your scooter. Just know that you're gonna get your scooter. They assured me that you're gonna get your scooter. So that's the most important thing. Yeah, and it shouldn't take longer than three months. This thing is monstrous. I don't think this is like any scooter that you have ever been on. Hey. Yeah, let's 
see how you do 